May the Lord bless and keep you. Someone asked me a question and let me say this before I get to my main point. Now, when I speak about these things, I am not saying it to receive honor or praise. I am saying it so you can understand what I am saying. So, maybe earlier this year, I forget, I was at the post office, I was parked, and this random person, random person came to me and he was asking for money. And I was thinking, I really don't want to give this person anything, but whatever. So I gave him maybe $5 or something like that. What I do every month, I usually set aside a certain amount of money for people, for Bibles, for food for them, and stuff like that. But at that point of time, I really wanted to focus that money on Bibles and mailing out documents about God to people. Like I really didn't want to give that person money, but I was thinking, hey, this person is hungry, so let me give him money for food. So I gave this person my phone number as well. And I told him, if you are ever in need again, make sure you call me. Okay. Yes. <laughs> that person contacted me more than I thought he would. So maybe each time he would text or call, he would ask for about, let me say this, I would give him about 20, around 20 or $25, I believe, which wasn't too much of a big deal because like I said, every month, I would set aside some money for people. And I was thinking too, hey, this person is hungry, so whatever. And I was going over the limit that I would give to people every month where there were some months where I did not have enough money for myself. Okay, so I forget when, but for like a week, a certain thought came to me, Kevin, this person is using that money on drugs. And I was thinking, no, I don't think so. We have to understand that demons and spirits of God can place thoughts into our mind. So we can't automatically believe every thought that comes into our mind because it may be coming from demons. So what you want to do is test out your thoughts. Test them out. But the thing about it, this thought was coming to me in this very urging and strong way, Kevin, this person is using your money on drugs. And I was thinking, really? I don't know. 
okay. So this person texted me this one day and he was asking if I can help him out. And I said to him, hey, I can take you to Walmart. You can get what you want in there <clears throat> and I can pay for it. This person gave me a text back and said, actually, I need money for rent. And I was thinking, every other time you needed money for food, but now that I say that I can take you to Walmart, now you need money for rent. And I said, okay, or something like that. And I told him that I can meet with him within an hour or two. Something came to my mind. Kevin, go to Walmart and get three $5 Walmart gift cards. Because I don't think that a person can use a $5 Walmart gift card for drugs. I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe you can. I don't I don't know. So I was thinking I can get 3 of them so when he calls me back, I can give him the second one. Then if he call me again, I can give him the third one. So you can't, I don't believe that you can buy drugs with a Walmart gift card. I don't believe so. Maybe, I have no idea. So, at Walmart, the lines were really, really long. And it took me longer than I thought it would. And I went somewhere else to do something. So I was about one hour late or maybe close to two hours late, maybe. And this guy was waiting at this store. So I arrived there and I told him, hey, I really don't want to give a person money so that they can buy drugs with it. And what he said to me, that he was not buying drugs with the money that I was giving him. And I was like, really? Are you sure? And then after that, he said that, well, maybe not all the money, but some of the money, yes, I was buying weed with it. And I was kind of mad about that. But I don't think I said anything about that, how mad I was about it. And then that is when I gave him that $5 Walmart gift card. And I believe that he was shocked to receive it. <laughs> And after talking with him for like five or 10 minutes, I believe, because he rode up there with his bike. So after he was through with speaking to me, he rode off and I was doing something. So I was parked for maybe five extra minutes or something like that. So when I drove past him, I saw this really irritated, mad look on his face. This guy was really, really mad. So mad. And after that day, I did not hear anything else from him. <laughs> Thank the Lord.
<laughs> what is your point, Kevin? Okay, give me time. A person can ask for whatever they like, but you don't have to give them exactly what they ask for. You can give them what you are willing to give, not so much what they ask for. If someone is in true need, you want to make sure that you are giving them something. Now, if you are able, yes, give them what they ask for, but in some cases, you may not be able or willing to give them all that they need. Also too, you want to listen or take heed to the Holy Spirit as well. Those random thoughts that comes into your mind, first of all, make sure that those thoughts are not coming from demons. Second, yes. So if you are feeling a strong urge to give to a person, do it. Because that strong urge is coming to you for a reason. And if you take heed to it, and if it is of the Holy Spirit, good things are going to come from it and come to you. So I pray that this makes sense. Give to people, but be mindful in what you are doing as well. Because some people may use your money for alcohol, cigarettes, and drugs. In those cases there, I'd rather give a person food than to give them money. Because people do foolish things, buying drugs and stuff, man. So I pray that this makes sense. Be wise. Let me say this. God wants us to help other people. So if we walk around with this tight fist all the time, not willing to give anyone anything, <laughs> bad things are going to happen to you to where you need to pay for this. You need to pay for that. You need to pay for this over here so on and so on. So many things are going to happen to you where you need to pay for. I am telling you. That is how it was for me. <laughs> I am going to say this. Back in 2006 or 2007, I really did a bad thing and I gained money from it. <sighs> and maybe a month or two later, <laughs> something happened where I had to take a taxi and it took me about one or two hours to get back. I had to pay about $300, almost the same amount of money that I gained from doing that bad thing, maybe more. So I thought that I gained by doing that bad thing, but in truth, I lost. And I was stupid 
and I kept on doing bad things to gain money. And things kept on happening to me to where I was paying out these large sums of money. I kept on losing. And it took me years to figure out that when you gain things in the wrong way, you are going to lose what you gain. It took me so many years or years to understand that. And even when it came down to how I treated people, that came back upon me as well. Oh, my Lord. Man, please listen to what I am saying to you because there is no sense of you suffering from what you are suffering from when you have a person here that is telling you how you can avoid all that mess. Pay attention. You don't have to suffer from that same stuff anymore. I am telling you, it really doesn't matter if you do really small bad things. Payment must be made. That stuff is coming back upon you. It have to. When I would gain with money or doing something bad, something else would happen to where it would cost me maybe more or around the same amount that I made. When you hurt people, people are going to hurt you. I am telling you, when you take from people, people are going to take from you. When you do bad things to gain money, your money it's going to be taken or took. Something is going to happen where <laughs> you are going to lose your money. I am telling you. Dumb things. So you don't have to suffer the same way that I suffered. Many of the bad things that happened to me is because of ignorance. Many of the bad things that are happening to you now, perhaps, in some cases, is because of ignorance. Time to change now. So let me stop here. Let me say this though. <laughs> Whatever you do, it is coming back to you. So choose to do the right things toward people. When you bless people, blessings are going to come back to you. This is why I choose to live my life as it is now, a life helping others. Not because that is the first thing that came to me, not so much that it is my most favorite thing to do? No. When I started to learn more about God, I started to learn that this is what he wants. And it benefits you a lot more to help others than for you to be selfish and bitter. Let me stop here. God bless you. If this video have helped you in any way, make sure you share it and subscribe. God bless you.